me you're, just that's your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story old or told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. No, it's more like go like a uh, couple days in a row without showering. Uh, that's another talking point I have because I, I don't know what's happened to me. Are we recording? We are live. Oh hell yeah! Have we been? I just started. No, not a big deal. We didn't say anything in note. What episode mm-hmm. number are we on? Three hundred two. Three hundred episodes. You guys have done. We started on episode two twelve. Yeah, we thought that was a good launching point. I don't, think <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't so, like this. Like this societal like pressure to start at one. Mm. We start at when? Two twelve. Two twelve. Two twelve. I'm gonna yeah. say, um, guys, I'm fucking honored to be on the show. No, this is gonna take yeah. a major hit to everything you built. Tolerating our invitation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here. yeah. Because we invited uh, Kyle and myself here, um, and we. You said you uh, texted him like, "See you tomorrow, man," and he said, "What?" I, so first of all, I DM'd him because I didn't even have his number. <laughs> Fasoli was texting JP, your guy. Which is a bad look on us because we're, te- we're, we're teammates. You we're huge I mean? teammates. We're, yeah, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we love each other to death. Um, I've had your number for a minute, literally. Um, <laughs> I've had your number for 60 seconds. Um, but no, uh, I was very embarrassed yesterday and I had horrible service out in the woods because I was trying to be really cool. And I uh, DM Will, I said, see you tomorrow. Purple devil emoji. That's not cool Enter, at all. enter, enter. Three spaces. Rest up, period. He sent that to you, and that. you just said a question mark. No, no, no. He said, "What you mean?" LOL. Oh, I know. I wanted to. We uh, shouldn't be here. We don't have oh. better. Do we have better health as a sponsor today? No, no, no. Listen. I wanted to kill myself. Listen, listen, <laughs> yeah, listen. Yeah. So, what confused me too is I saw that you guys are going to be in in Tennessee because I, I think I saw Sydney or one of you guys post we don't, about it. We don't post. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, "Are you guys going to be in Nashville?" Yeah. And she's like, no, we're going to be out. And wherever you guys were, it was like two hours away. I was like, how long are you guys here? And she was like, until Wednesday. So really all I had was like yesterday. I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going to make it out. So then when you messaged me and said, see you tomorrow with the devil face and then rest up. Purple devil face. Yeah. I personally got excited because I'm like, am I going to get to see the boys? Mm-hmm. No. So that's why I said, what do you mean? Because I had no clue. Whenever you, whenever you said JP that they'd been talking I took it as, okay, I'm going to have to discipline JP now because he didn't tell me this good news. Yeah, you yeah. Should, yeah you're going to have to. Okay. And actually, before you got here, he was a tremendous dickhead to all of us. I believe yeah, he, he wasn't did not like w- outwardly an asshole. He was just rude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How so? Please explain. Because General I, demeanor, I energy. You, guys. Um, you know, mm-hmm. I think he assumed Kyle was gay. And he, was, he, was, he called <laughs> him. He was the, 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 yeah. Gay. yeah the, did he say, hey, it's not June anymore. You're not allowed in here. He, he said, oh, that, baby, that bus looks long to you. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that's been a theme all week so we've been doing outdoors stuff and when you know like when you go to the country and then like you're not an outdoors guy and they treat you like you are a a gay person no 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 no, no. Yeah, yes, that. <laughs> that and that yeah like us holding guns like they were just disgusting. i've lived in i've lived in new york for two years and i lived in west virginia my whole life before that and then they but they treated me like i've never stepped outside but you yeah. probably know the right like sentences to say to let everybody know like you're part of them. Right? I played it up. <laughs> and yeah. I think it's because I wear I, I'm like I wear glasses and I'm like frail. It's just like they don't. It, it, They're ready to bully. You. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you have like a build like, OK, we're going to bully this. Kid. Yeah. Like we were shooting ARs and I was hitting giant targets with them. Just giant targets. They're like, oh, my God. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, yeah. I mean, honestly, some of the dorkiest guys use ARs. Yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you threw it out on the table when I was. I like, know. I you look have like, a pro, you I look profile. Like, I look like the guy that paralyzed Drake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looked exactly like him when he came out of the shower, uh, for professionally, like for, for the, yeah. the wet wheel. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not, I didn't. I've never seen him come out of the sh- his home shower. You haven't. He looked just like the Mm-mm. the boy who killed Drake or killed Jimmy. Yeah, put him, didn't kill him. Put him in a wheelchair. Put him Bound in a wheelchair. Him. Yeah, shot Bound him. him. Mm-hmm. So. We start every episode. I guess we already we're pretty much 
in the episode now. First but off, how, how's your how's your little one? Oh God, she's a stud. You talking about Cerulean? So little K- Cerulean Bell. KB yeah. has his masters in early childhood development. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. You can give her a little eval. An eval on what? I would just test her skills and see what if skills she needs, are we gonna if she needs additional work. Like, what would you start off? She's about to be four months old. Oh, and I take you and I so take her to I KB's was... buffet style child development. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, are you, what, <laughs> what What's the assessment you're taking? Every time here? I meet, like, we're, we're tight, but like, we're, we don't know much about each other. Every time he gets past that threshold of not strangers anymore. He asks to eval a child. Oh, yeah. And it, it burns every bridge yeah, we've ever had. My parents never like that because it, it assumes <laughs> something that is wrong with the child. Maybe he's itching to I, diagnose. I like to eval all types of kids. Well, I was at the... Typical, typical. Yeah. But my thing is I did that for a living, but I couldn't manip- I couldn't hold babies. Hold babies. What's that? A phobia of holding babies? I can't hold babies. I can't pick them up. I can't play with them. I'm so terrified. why did you go into that career so path? They would only let me do like the kids who are like 20 months and up because I can do the toddlers. I just can't. Wait, if you're afraid of like holding babies, you you spent I, seven yes. years in school. I am autistic and I'm afraid of babies. And my two jobs are talking and handling babies and diagnosing autism, yes. which is the ultimate pot meat kettle. I know. They just let me do it. Dude, it's so easy to get a job in like the the most important fields in the world and just not know what you're doing. So what is the first thing that you would do in this? Again, I'm walking in. We bring a kid kid of toys, a pamphlet, put them on the floor. See if they can kind of put your little girl on the floor. (laughs) And we would do different uh, four months is we would just test her like mobility. See if she can flexibility. A range of motion. Yeah. Little. They have all the range leg. of motion. Yeah. Her, their tummy. bones are like, not let's solid. see if they put her all her over. Tummy, see, it, yeah. see what she does. She's got very good, like, back strength. She can hit the Superman oh. pose very well. Tummy time is very important. Yeah. We're trying to get her to kind of like roll over. We can grab toys and kind of like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You guys, put it in front of her and she can kind of reach for it now. You guys are under the sports podcast genre, right? Yeah. We're under yeah, parenting. We are. Yeah. No, you're yeah. not. <laughs> we're, we're top 100. We're top parenting. 100 in parenting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not bad. Not, not bad for guys that are don't Are you actually kids. in that genre? Horrible. No, we're under improv, which is like a, we don't even chart on that. And there's like 12. We were, yeah. we hit number two. We hit number two in the UK once. So the, yeah. the lads are, we that, were like that means two. one person listened over there. Yeah. I think you hacked the algorithm. I guess. Yeah. There's something to celebrate about. Well, you hit number one on sports. I think you guys That's maybe what I'm have. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying, but all I'm saying oh, is if you get you if you get on if you get on those charts, it's a reason to celebrate because you know it's not gonna it's, you know it's gonna be short lived. Like we Thanks, don't man. touch. Pardon my take. Mm-hmm. We don't probably touch spit and chicklets like because we're still like I guess growing. I heard there was a metaphorical uh, torch passing though. Yeah, but you know how those boys are. Like they uh, PFT and Big Cat. Awesome dudes, I love them. They're one. They're all. We're all on the boys' team, but they're, they're some of the very worst. flawed. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they are very smart at their craft. They they're playing the long game as they're trying to pass a torch because they're trying to get it to a way where they can kind of a bu- reach around. Yeah, like a reach around. Yeah. Kind of bully you a little bit. Yeah. Like we're going to pass a torch. We're going to be condescending about this. We're going to make you still seem like you're inferior, even though we're passing the torch. I think you know what I'm talking about. You guys are never on Big Cat. What is this torch passing? I don't think Big Cat's ever felt threatened by us for a split second. I still don't know. So, so, so here's what happened. You guys have sponsors. We lose, we've lost, I think, (laughs) 15 sponsors. Well, they, we cost the company millions of One of our sponsors was another podcast. They gave us another comedy uh, podcast. Reed was like, come listen to Smartless Podcast. It's the funniest podcast where they're ad free. It was just we had an ad on our comedy an podcast, on our podcast for, for an another ad free. podcast that was in the same genre. Of That's podcasts. all they can sell it to. Like, don't listen to us. Go listen it, to this podcast. the language of our ad that was yes. printed and given to us was drop what you're doing right now. <laughs> Pretty much. And go listen. You can tell the copywriter. You have the biggest like beer in, in America. We had we got another comedy podcast to here's my Why are you barreled out. Are you hang on? Are you not a Cracker Barrel fan? The food is Beige. beige. What does that mean? The food is literally all, all everything on the menu is there's, beige. There's no colors. Yeah. Monochromatic beige. And the, the breakfast is uh, solid, yeah, right? Good, the breakfast um, is good. Yeah. Especially, like, you know, uh, did you go to college? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. 
<laughs> See, I just well, okay, me, I just you didn't play a sport. You didn't go to college. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> you thought only athletes. Only go athletes college. go to college. Yeah. <laughs> athletes are like the biggest dorks in the I world. <laughs> I always forget you're dumb as fuck. <laughs> You're awesome. Actually, you're awesome. Never, you're awesome. That's what makes us different. No, no, that's the thing. You have the personality where I can forget, but every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> yeah, I went to WVU. Okay, so you went to West Virginia. But yeah. you know those weekends when you finish it up and you all the boys, everybody hits Cracker Barrel like oh. on Sunday or something. No. The, what, what, yes, I did. Uh, I did. Those are good times. Yeah, you go get dumplings. That's why, I mean, that's, yeah, why you're, that's why you're you need that's up. That's why I'm barreled the fuck out. You wouldn't understand. Yeah, it seems like you don't get it. And I, and for for that, I do. I, I apologize. Uh, the people that aren't listening, that are that are listening and not watching, barrel the fuck out means I'm head to toe in Cracker Barrel merch. They yeah. probably assumed. They have a great merch store, a little, little merch store. store a little, good rock mm-hmm. candy. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> racist. <laughs> they're very racist. Yeah. And Cracker Barrel clientele, a Cracker Barrel 10 is an ogre. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ugliest people, dude. <laughs> I, 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 act up I don't like, know. Yeah. I don't know if it's the lighting, uh-huh. but if you ever walk in somewhere and you're like the most, I'm talking to him. Have you ever walked in where known you were the it, most? It's kind of hard, like yeah. the dynamic sitting on here. Mm-hmm. But yeah, go no, ahead. no, no, because like you're a handsome guy. You've probably been the most handsome person in a lot of places. Not the uh, mouth, but it's new now. That, but this is newer. Yeah, but now you you can do it. Yeah. I walking in somewhere and knowing you're the most handsome is a, is un- unbelievable. Yeah, I worked in special education and I still never accomplished that. Feat. <laughs> You were the most handsome person once at the board game. I went to a board game convention. Don't believe that. Yeah. Did you really? I used to go every year. I I used to want to be a board game designer. Designer. What are your board games? What are your top three board games? Ever? You wouldn't know them. I feel like Clue Fanatics. I promise you wouldn't. Okay, Clue? probably not. You saying that and then comfortably sitting up to deliver that's the most confidence. I, that's the most <laughs> yeah. confident I've ever been in my life. Like, brother. <laughs> no, you've never heard of these games. <laughs> Trust me. But we can play if you want. What are the games? Uh, my favorite game ever is called Seven Wonders. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Yeah, that. yeah. Okay, let's say mainstream. Like, what you I think played it, with, I it was like, d- uh, like doing a schoolwork. <laughs> it was like doing textbook schoolwork. I, was, I, there was not a fun part about it. It was doing homework. I like it. It was like doing a capstone. What's the goal? What's the goal of Seven Wonders? Of of, you have to uh, build your Seven Wonder. You have to accomplish. You have to. It's a victory point based game, Will. You, kind of like Risk. <laughs> God, you really know how to piss me off, man. Yeah, don't <laughs> hey, Rick, I knew that crossed the line. Hey, Risk is a good game. Risk is a good game. Fasoli, where did he go? Where did Fasoli go? Was he your first person of color to be on the bus? No, we actually our director of production is Blas Hernandez, Hispanic. Okay, yeah. military yeah. guy too. Been mm. over in Afghanistan. Oh, okay, they yeah, check Caucasian. I think. What's up? They check Caucasian. What on they the get men, to say the N word. Yeah, they do. It's always a very yeah, they do. Thing. They all get to just say it. Yeah. yeah. I was in San Antonio. They were just r- ripping it. Dude, and when you're a white guy sitting there next to like a Hispanic saying the N word, you're kind of like, what you're is pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. So has, has anybody ever said the N word on the bus? Oh, you guys man. ever have Morgan Wallen? Like maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's right here. He's right down the street. <laughs> <laughs> we invited him on, but he laid low. I guess he was in therapy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Going to N word rehab, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he went to a facility in Clearwater. <laughs> a six month one. It's, it's exposure therapy. You just watch Quentin Tarantino movies. <laughs> hey, this is uh, a great this fucking is, this is our podcast, by the way. Yeah, so yeah. yeah don't you, guys worry. Be, you guys yeah. should be way bigger than what you guys are portraying. Now, I don't know if I fully believe you yet, but also, what's your guys' budget? You guys want to advertise on Bustin' with the Boys? Oh my God. We, well, we, we, like, we can sell an ad right now on, uh, Run an ad of your guys' podcast. I, I like you too much to ruin. You, you don't want to be tied to what we do. I disagree. I promise you, man. Nothing, nothing. So you guys really All get- we do is lose sponsors. We lost Felix Gray because of KB. We had them for like 15 but minutes. What do you mean by we losing lost- sponsors? You probably just say shit that like in the ad that they don't want you to say. We tell yeah. people what they shouldn't say about the company. Oh. I think the best ads are ones that they, they run through the pros and the cons <laughs> and, and they let you KB does. They let you do the math. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But that'll be, do it. Yes. So oh, yeah. will what you called Felix Gray. I said I told the fans to not refer to them as Field Dicks Gay. They still did, and we lost them. We lost them real on quick. Them. On everyone. <laughs> you can't just keep it tight for just, you know, a minute or two. No. I cannot read an ad. No. Uh, we have game time today. So, yeah. Will you do game time? They're not a scam. We make up promo codes. <laughs> game time is <laughs> awesome. KB made up their tagline. Game time. It's not a scam. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's,
It's not, but that is actually our sponsor. Not quite today, a scam. Yeah, no. Get but I, I think that now outside of the sponsorship, though, like your guys' audience and stuff, I mean, I would assume you guys seem very beloved from what I see. By like a very uh, small group of incels. No, Nick. We, yeah, we were beloved. Mm-hmm. Except the case race. Yeah, oh my God. That ruined my life. We I, talked I, about I, you were the only one that came out unscathed from that. Yeah. The case race? Yeah. Except the tiny dick thing. I was going to say, no, what do you mean no, by that? That made you all like, the more yeah. relatable. Uh-huh. But also, it's tough to come out with that label. You the know what I mean? tiny dick guy? You came out with the, as the tiny dick guy. I was just too drunk. So you came in with a you came I in with a, with a vibe about you, yourself that that wasn't the KB that I recognized. You blacked out during the case race, right? Yes, I made the mistake of blacking out before the case race. A premature. <laughs> Why would you pregame that? Because I know everyone's going to be drunk and having fun. I can't drink beer. I didn't want to be like sober and nauseous. So I I got down the bottle, a bottle of liquor, right? Since yeah, you, it wasn't you a whole get, bottle. You got to get Whitney too. It was like probably half a bottle. That's a lot. I mean, that, it's a lot of me it's vodka. It's not just yeah. a cocktail. Mm, well, it's pretty much a cocktail, but it's not. Yeah, it's I was like 40%. I was, was blacked yeah, out yeah, doing. Yeah. I guess I was talking about scholarships and football. But that's always a good conversation. Well, that was your first. That was the first sentence of the show. Yeah, I kind of I went and in you there, came, and you were a little late. Kind of like delivered the soliloquy in the bathroom before, and I was like, "This is gonna kill." It's funny when I get mad and passionate and it, whatever. It's right out of the whatever, gate. That's yeah. how you were. Uh -huh. Trial and error. But at least he sobered up. Your dick hasn't grown, has it? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> however, <insane>. however, <laughs> however, not the, you know, the boys, the boys not packing heavy no matter what. Mm. But you get behind the eight ball when you take Adderall. Yeah, yeah. I did give Will his first Adderall. Yeah. Oh, you were on first. Adderall. We thought it would be a little bit of a PED. And we performed very well. I mean, bro, we lost by 30 seconds. Yeah. Adderall's tough because it, you're right. having a blast and you think you're killing it when you're talking, but you're you're covering topics that no one gives a fuck about and you're rambling like a madman. I did see that we were watching highlights of like Nebraska games at one point. <laughs> oh, I don't remember, dude. And Dominic and Sue, the Texas game. Oh, like, yeah. People would tag Wait, and during, say during about During the stuff. case race? Yeah. yeah during the case race. Yeah. No, no. no. Home you went home. You just decided to go home. I, I thought it was over. You forgot we were at work. Yeah, that was oh, I guess that makes sense. We were yeah. drinking. Wake up, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you took your face paint off, which I do not agree with. I threw up. And I got like the cold sweats and the, it ruined the, the alien. So I, I think that makes it even funnier. It's looking back. It's like, you want to keep that. I should have kept it because when I smeared it, only the black smeared and I was looking like fucking prime minister of Canada, dude, yeah. on Halloween. Yes. But that was like, I was bummed too, because we didn't, I didn't, I don't, I don't remember anyway, doing the trivia. I was excited to do the trivia, the twister at the end. We didn't do that, did we? I don't know. I didn't know that Shane and Stephen Che was about to throw down a little bit. I didn't know it got oh, serious. Yeah. I, did not, I did not stuff, pick up on that. I'm just housing popcorn and I'm like, fuck. I it's did. one of those things you don't want to watch. Whether yeah. or not people's giving you love or not, it you just horrifying. wake never up. never watch that. It is horrifying. The, the amount of people who watched it but don't watch anything else we do, like it, it attracted all like the college kids. They love that shit. Yeah. And I, everywhere I would go since then, I would get chirped about the case race, which yeah. is whatever. But, um, one kid was like, yeah, me and my friends, we had our whole, we did a case race for your case race. And we ended up just turning yours off and just doing our own because it was whack. Yeah, I was at That's the, tough to hear. I was at the mm. beach with my family and uh, I was like walking down the beach, you know, just trying to unplug. And this dude came up to me. He's like, Nikki, case race. And then he's walked away. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Did say anything else? No, there, yeah. no. Dude. So I was in the airport and somebody's like, hey, man. I'm listening to the case right now. You guys are crushing it. Right? What? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's 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 a mixed bag out there. You're listening to the case. You're listening where he's at the airport. Yeah. 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 No. no. <laughs> that was, I, I mean, you know. So, Will, on a new unsold story, we do this segment called the news. We usually lead off the show with it. It's like a it's a direct ripoff of Weekend Update uh, from SNL, and we write jokes. We take the week's headlines and we just read them and we. It's like a workshop. We workshop each other's jokes with each other. Okay, you know, I'm already wanna... getting nervous. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. you're, you'll be participating. You'll be yeah. participating. Okay. We wrote you some jokes. Um, do you want to text them to him or do you not have his number? I don't have... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> do you not have your phone with you? Sure. So the running joke is that I never prepare. So like, it's been a busy week actually this week, so I haven't done anything for it. Yeah? Did you um, catch catfish? No, I didn't catch shit. Did you get your... Uh, your daughter like a little straight out of Compton shirt. 
Oh my God! Mm, from your wife, something you would do. That's that's that is something I would do, but we have not done that yet. Yeah, that's she's got a little for the boys jersey, of course. Okay, and then she's got like Star Wars apparel. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm all about Star Wars. Are you? Yeah, we're a Star Wars family. I have no idea. I'm a Star Wars guy. Uh, This is great news. Are you a Star Wars guy? Number one Star Wars, not number one Star Wars guy, but I love Star Wars. Would you say that uh, the like the Clone Wars, their animated series on Disney Plus, was probably their best content? I liked the the first Clone Wars they did, like the two the two D animation over like the CGI one. one You're talking about like seasons one and two before they started to get a little bit better. Yeah. You would probably like that. Yeah, that's uh, you it's could a good tell. vibe. Yeah, it's a good vibe. Yeah. Um, no, but check it out. I actually went to go get a Star Wars tattoo. Ben Quadraneros, the the, the pod racer whose thing blew up. No and shit. And I, I brought it into the tattoo shop, and the guy was like, "You know, this looks like a clitoral hood." And I was like, "Shit, I guess he does." <laughs> and I just chickened out of getting wait, 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 it. First off, what is a clitoral hood? I don't know, dude. I think it's like the thing just that protects laugh. the clit. Yeah, I'm, I, like I had the. I'm assuming the B is kind of the, you know, the end and then the rest is like the hood look. I, I guess like there, it doesn't have like a little like. Uh, Maybe the design he had was like a clitoral hood. Google clitoral hood. Okay. Yeah. You guys keep talking. I grew up in the clitoral, clitoral hood, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the mean streets. <laughs> what are you, a virgin, dude? <laughs> Actually show it to me because I just, I just know, I know what a obscure pod racer looks like over a, a pussy. <laughs> I could identify Ben Quadraneros and his pod racer over. over. All right. In your defense, I don't know who's identifying a clitoral hood. That was a cool was tattoo a, artist guy. Yeah, I mean, it was at a tattoo shop. Yeah. Tattoo guys love eating pussy, I guess. Mm. Oh, is that? All right. They're not prude. No. No, they're not. Mm-hmm. Kyle, do you want to start off the news or you want me to? Or you want me to text Will and have yeah, him start yeah, us yeah, off? Shoot me the news. Yeah, all right. Started. Will, you don't have to. <laughs> Just read these like you would. Let's see. Oh, I told. Oh, fuck. I saw, I told you I was going to text you when we were headed up here, and I just I didn't. It's all good. All right. Well, why don't you read the first joke? Episode two or three is the news. Read it like an anchor. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> an Illinois French cafe was vandalized with hate speech at he- ahead of a drag show. If they can't spray, oh, hang on. Sorry, boys. Yeah. Let me start that over. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. <clears throat> That's how it works. Maybe slower. But an more, Illinois en- en- enunciate okay. the, the syllables more. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. An Illinois French cafe was vandalized with hate speech ahead of a drag show. Mm. If they can't get the spray paint off, I guess they can become a French cigarette store. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we can guess what the spray paint said. <laughs> hey, that, was, that was a good one. That was, was a good, good one, Will. Good that was a good one, Will. It was a, it was a decent start, but I was, yeah. I was really hitting the ground, landing the plane, I feel like. No, you really did. Mm-hmm. Here's one. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not comfortable doing this they one, they can get the spray paint off. I guess they can just become a French so cigarette a French store. cafe becomes a French cigarette store because that's how the French would say cigarette was what the spray paint said. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is how it is. It's a joke uh, workshop. I love this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead. <clears throat> do you mind if I read through it first? No. No. Okay, I got to go just oh, no, yeah. we, no, we do mind. No, no, we, no, we do mind, mind if you read through it. So yeah. just start, go ahead and okay, go. Okay, okay, do okay, okay. Don't do that. A Pennsylvania state trooper has been charged with felony animal cruelty after hitting a horse with his patrol vehicle. Cops will truly kill anything that enjoys doing the nay-nay. <laughs> Will, that's a little, that's a little fucked Will, up, man. Will, shit, chill out, oh, dude. dude. I thought you were one of the boys. Good God. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, clip that, clip that. <laughs> Chat, clip that. Hey, I don't know if you, you saw this, but I improvised right there. I added an A in between hitting horse. That's great. Uh, that's yeah. great. I, I don't type well. I don't, uh-huh. uh, these are just my thoughts when I read the news in the morning. Hey, that's a funny fucking joke do you, do you guys do stand up no yeah no no we no no you 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 tried it yes in very well. nerve-wracking yeah, i can't I believe imagine that. that's the reason we don't do it or i don't do it dude i was up there for like 12 minutes though that's a long ass yeah. time 12 yeah yeah and how how did you prepare like did you write it for months i'm in like advance? uh no like uh probably four days in advance three days in advance Mm-hmm. And I'm just like going through it. But I had a couple people help me out, like Steve Byrne. He's a comedian. Oh, yeah. Burt Kreischer had just came on the pod. So I ran a couple jokes by him. Of course. Yeah. And that's like, great. I help. like emailed my material to Steve Byrne and then he would write back to me on some stuff that I could look at changing. OK. And then I would just stand so up. You and- actually really. So a lot of people will go in just thinking that they're funny without any prep work and then bomb. You actually. Yes. Yeah, I, have, uh, I mean, there's no I would it. I would be up there bombing and then I would get extremely nervous and then feel shitty. 
I'm not up there. I'm not confident enough to do like crowd work. So I would just be like, hey, man, get off the stage. Yeah. No, that's, you, if, if it went like that, that way. Yeah. Will you do it again? Yeah, I actually am at the end of Hell this yeah. month. Yeah, at I the did. end of August. Here? Yes. Brian Callen wants me to do five minutes during his set. The big go. comedian. I know, I know. <laughs> dude, hell yeah. Go. That's awesome, dude. You guys should come. Yeah. Okay. Would love to. When and you guys can actually, you guys can come on the bus. Like we can do a bus in with the boys pod. How do you guys hang on now? How do you guys feel about that? I feel like it's we're kind of rushing into it. Yeah. It's, a full, it's, it's, oh, it's yeah. over a month. I think you just got excited. <laughs> yeah. And you just, yeah, you got excited. Let, I don't know if you let's, quite let's mean that. Let's, let's sleep on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go on the bus once, but I won't go back. <laughs> I'm like the Rosa Parks of bitter podcast. <laughs> what if we did? What if we did the podcast outside of the bus, where you don't have to come in? Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 We we'll yeah. just kind of situate the couch and stuff like right over here. Yeah. 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 Think about it. But we'd love to host. We you have guys. time. We have time. We I have appreciate. It. We're gonna think run about it, it for a run while. Run it by Taylor. Yeah. Uh huh. Taylor's gonna be in camp. It's, it's okay. Uh, it's me trying to figure it out. Like without oh, yeah, the boys. No, okay. No, we would. Yeah. yeah. We'd love to. Fantastic. I have one more joke for you. Kyle, did you write any jokes for Will? <clears throat> no, no. Okay. So we have our own news, but then you'll finish that one off. Okay. Brittany Griner will testify in Russian court as trial continues. With advances in gender reassignment surgeries, I'm surprised she hasn't already been testified. Testified. She's gotten a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, run that back. Yeah, try wait, that one more time. Okay, okay. Try that one more time. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Brittany Griner will testify in Russian court as trial continues. With advances in gender reassignment surgeries, I'm surprised Actually, she hasn't you, already been can you testified. pause after the first sentence and then... Give it a little more? We'll, yeah, we'll, let it breathe. We'll think, about, we'll think about that headline. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And this is how we do it. We're not critiquing you. We do this to each other. This is this to improve you. our craft. Is this camera on me? Yeah. <clears throat> Dippy? Is that camera? Brittany Griner will testify in Russian court as trials continue. With advances in gender reassignment surgeries, I'm surprised she hasn't already been testified. <laughs> Uh, it hit, it hit. Te like testify. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. oh testify. like a ball. Oh, the first one, oh, okay. run it yeah, back. That was, yeah, that was funny. That's yeah. brought, me to, brought, back brought back. to you by Game Time, guys. Mm -hmm. Game Time is a ticketing app that allows that makes it easier to than ever mm -hmm. to score last minute deals. Uh, Kyle, what was the last ticket you got from Game Time? I went to. You went it. to go see Dear Evan Hansen. I went to see Dear Evan Hansen. That's right, um, and you loved it. And they, granted, Game Time gave it to me for free. But you <laughs> don't come on, dude. You won't get it for free, but you'll get hell of a hell of a deal. Yeah, that's hell right. Of a deal. That's right. Untold one five. No, just untold. Okay. Just untold for twenty dollars off okay. at Game Time. That's a Game Time app. Go to the account tab, create a login, redeem the code, <laughs> download Game Time. Mm -hmm. All right, I got some news jokes here. <clears throat> Before I get into this one, Ugh. every do I gotta do something else? No, no, you're no, good. I, I just need to. We are like a top five uh, podcast when it comes to Violet Beauregard references, the girl that chewed the gum in Willy Wonka and got very big. Okay. So every episode we do a joke and we try to hide a Violet Beauregard reference in there. It's getting Im nearly impossible it's, with we, the <laughs> phonetics and words. There's only there's so, only much so many jokes we're running make. out. So they're getting very bad. So let's just get that one out of the way. Okay. Or do you have a Violet Beauregard one as well? Um, I actually, I have a fan submitted one. Okay. Um, NFL season is coming up. Isn't that right, boys? That's right. Yeah. And the NFL shop has said that Aiden Hutchinson, his jersey has not only surpassed as the most popular Lions jersey, but it blew berries away. <laughs> Barry Sanders. It blew berries away. Who has been rolling as their best seller since 1989. Blueberry rolling? That reminds me of Violet Beauregard, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Ten-year-old patron of Willy Wonka's mm -hmm. Chocolate Factory. She's from Atlanta. Mm. Um, she ate so much chewing gum that she, she, she turned into a very big blueberry. Mm -hmm. All right, we got that out of the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're climbing up the rankings of Beauregard podcasts. Uh, uh, you guys hear about this is bad news. Time out, time out, time out. May I ask, is that true about Aiden Hutchinson? No. Okay. It's the, he is the number one selling line. As long as being completely. He, he passed up DeAndre Swift. Barry is number three. one. Barry's still number one. No, no, no. This so right now on the Lions Calvin store. Calvin Harris is number one. Calvin Johnson. Calvin Harris is Calvin a DJ. <laughs> Your I'm drug riddled man. brain, dude. You know Calvin you know, Johnson. Think in terms of EDM. <laughs> you know Calvin Johnson, right? Uh, 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 Joey Harrington, John Kitna. Okay. Okay. So you're aware. Okay. Yeah, all right. I know, right. I know the, that was a good save. I know the boys. You started I know to the boys. stutter. I was like, yeah. oh, fuck. I know does. players. Yeah. You know players. Mm -hmm. Um, bad news, guys. Shopify. Unfortunately, they will be laying off 10% of their employees in the coming weeks. 
since, it's ha- since it hasn't happened yet, experts are scrambling to find a way to prevent this. You know what? I think Shopify should hire Will Compton as CEO because then nobody would be getting sacked. <laughs> a British term for being fired. Uh, and being can better, I and, go next? And being bad at football. <laughs> Let me do one more. Can I do, can I do one? Yeah, go ahead. We'll work there. yeah, go ahead. Uh, what am I, an offensive lineman? <laughs> global tech giant Stripe, which is valued at $70 million, has plans to merge with Square and acquire Goldman Sachs by 2023. Wow. That's a tall task. You know who spent a decade trying and, a failing, trying and failing to acquire Sachs? Former NFL player Will Compton, <laughs> who only had one in his career. <laughs> all right, all that right. That is true, and I did a dab. Um, oh. Those be- one good one is better than so five can, boring wait, ones. Sacking and get, doing a dab, we can triangulate that to the exact month you did that because that was that was like a popular for <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> yes, December of two thousand and fifteen. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, the we F- can overlay that clip. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, you, it would probably be a vine, <laughs> <laughs> a gif. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, who who was the quarterback? Sam Bradford. Oh, oh wow, a big one. West Virginia boy. No, West Virginia no, beat him. No, no, no. Okay. Oklahoma boy. Oklahoma boy. Yep. yep. The uh, the FDA the You're FDA one of these right? I had a red line before this. <laughs> he bought like a generic. Did you drink out of any of these? I didn't drink. Uh, no. Okay, so that one's that one's, that one's probably yeah. his. Uh, bad news for for the vape guys. The vape the guys that vape. Tom. Oh, Tommy, well, he smokes. The, yeah. the FDA announced yesterday that stores must stop carrying jewel carts, pods, and juices immediately. Immediately stop carrying the pods? That reminds me of when Taylor goes to training camp. <laughs> <laughs> in the news. Just in the news. Uh-oh. After a recent Treasury amendment, Fannie Mae tightens standards on investment properties. Wait a second. Titan standards? I didn't think they had any after they signed Will Compton. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. This is uh, a roast. No, no. This no, is like a comedy show. This is a this good joke, time. The jokes write themselves, man. It's just, it's uh, just in the news and we had a little bit more to piggyback. Target is raising minimum wage to $24 an hour. I'm just telling you that to help you out. Yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> um, good for them. Next wait, who, who's doing that? Target. Comfortable living. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case you need that. Um, <laughs> you have any? I'll do one. That was the joke, just... No, I, I, that wasn't a joke. I just, just, yeah. just the news. I was letting you know, just in case, you know. I need something to do. You'll be, you have time. Uh, <laughs> bad news again. The news is just filled with all everything yeah, bad. That's, that's, the, that's the news these days. Just More than a thousand you. monkeypox cases confirmed in New York City. It's a new hotspot for the virus. Most commonly spread from men who have sex with other men. You can identify the disease by its scarlet lesions on the skin. Sleeping with men? Redskin? Hmm, that reminds me of somebody. <laughs> Former gay Washington linebacker Will Compton. <laughs> Will Compton once <laughs> Will Compton wants to fuck David and Derek Carr. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Um, She's a couple tweets about Derek. I'm gonna fuck him. Like <laughs> a Chinese court rules ruled against single Beijing woman who wanted to freeze her eggs. They wouldn't let her freeze her pussy. Freeze pussy is also what cops would say if they were about to arrest Will. Actually, they'd say Kafinga pussy because if Will were getting arrested, it would be in Cameroon where it's illegal to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> they, that was when I'm like trying to keep up with them. I know it would be Kafinga. It would be Kafinga, which means freeze in, in uh, Cameroonian. Cameroonian. <laughs> I think that would be French. Buntu. Buntu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. That's all I have. Yeah, what are we getting into? That, <laughs> that was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fucking but Here's good the time. thing <laughs> me and Kyle did not cross wires we both just wrote those unknowing yeah, that he was i didn't know you were doing will themed ones <laughs> oh you guys yeah, didn't like have a plan to bring will themed each other yeah that is amazing that's why you guys are talented no you brought us together man yeah. 
<laughs> what was your last one? It just he wants to fuck David and Derek Carr. He wants to fuck De- Derek Carr. Is that what? well? That was just yeah. I read that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I've had a couple uh, tweets like I, I, you know how I am. I promote the boys. Yeah, yeah. Derek's mm-hmm. one of them. He is. He, yeah. So he probably mm-hmm. saw that and just you played with him. Yeah, yeah. Is he top eight in the league quarterback? Top eight quarterback. Yeah. I think that's hard to argue. I think it's hard to argue that he is just because they haven't. The Raiders haven't advanced in the playoffs. That was everybody just exiting out of our podcast as soon as we started talking about sports. Yeah. That's on me. Right, right. That's on me. But Derek, I got a good story about Derek. Right when I got there within the last five weeks last year for the season, I didn't have a vehicle. I didn't want to rent a car because there, it was fucking... Well, you, could have, you didn't want to rent him? <laughs> I didn't, didn't want to rent him. <laughs> and we're right back into it. <laughs> I didn't want to rent a vehicle because it was costing too much money. Derek, within 10 minutes, drove from his house. Uh, the day was over. I just hit him up. Hey, do you happen to have an extra vehicle in your garage? Because I'm thinking, like, you know, quarterback. Mm-hmm. So I got he something. probably does. Within 10 minutes, him and his wife drive down a, uh, their two vehicles so he can drop off his truck. Oh, that's very mm-hmm. nice. Good. Good. Yeah. So, yes, I'm Christian boy. A whole lot of cars. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what else are we getting into? We're in Nashville. Do you go out in Nashville? Like, do you do the whole Broadway scene? There's no way. I really know. Yeah. That looks I, like I will. I say, like, I've seen clips of it, the whole street just being on Dana, on Dana Beers' Twitter. It looks that so looks he like only, hell he only comes here after tragedy. Yeah, <laughs> he's like the moth man. Yeah. Um, he's yeah, he, he brought a case of beer down here to during the tornado. Yeah, the, the guys just lost their you know their entire neighborhood, but yeah, they probably wanted 24 beers. <laughs> I thought I went with him to that house too. (laughs) Did you bring Vrabel? No, he saw Vrabel a time before that. Like like a day or something before that. Okay. But yeah, and then he obviously partook in the COVID celebration down on Broadway. You guys don't shower? Uh, We were talking about this before the podcast. I just turned 30. and uh, When? End of June. Happy belated, bro. Thanks, man. Thanks. You could wish, what's, yeah, enough man. time has passed. Lot, you could yeah. probably wish me a happy early 31st. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to do that. All right. Yeah, it'll be at my next party. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were at my birthday. You dickhead. You were at the it. Case race oh, was my yeah. birthday. <laughs> <laughs> what a birthday. I forgot. We were him. We were him. <laughs> I forgot. Too. You probably, yeah, you wished him for sure. <laughs> oh, and what I was going to say was we actually win that case race because Shane was bullshitting because he was just chugging for Roan. Yeah, there was a. You were supposed to be like yucking it up. You, there was a there was a no chug policy. It would policy. be like three seconds before he downed a beer, and we'd try and yell to get yeah. him to stop, but it'd, mm-hmm. be, it'd be a waste of breath. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's anyway uh, yeah, that's we should have won that. We should. I think we did. I, you sure as hell didn't. No, no. But no. I, uh, I loathe getting wet. If there was a pill I could take, you, said, you, you wish there was a pill that would like so I would I would self clean myself like like a vagina, I guess. You, if I could, if I could take, to turn you into a giant vagina, <laughs> in in the sense that I pussy. would clean myself. You wish you were a giant pussy. <laughs> I guess. Mm-hmm. No, but you I hate. You, I hate showering. You take days off. Is that is that? No, bad? I mean, like, I'll take. No. I've gotten to the point where I take a couple days off now, but usually I shower like every other day. Yeah. In like. If I'm playing, you're obviously showering every day after playing. Practice. Oh, playing football. I thought you meant with like toys. No, 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 no. no. no Legos. We're talking about playing some ball. Yeah. But I go like every other day. But I've gotten to the point to where I go like two days now, maybe three if I'm fucking, if my head doesn't start itching too early. Yeah. So right. it's, not, it's not that I don't want to uh, like clean myself. I would love to. But it, right before bed, you're kind of just ready to get in bed. So I'll wash my face, brush my teeth. Mm-hmm. I leave my contacts. You guys, con- you guys wear contacts? No, I'm afraid to touch my eyeballs. Yeah, I can't. I can't touch my eyeballs. Yeah, I'm I a- need them badly. You can't see anything. And I like it. I kind of like it. You like not being able to you see? Like yeah, it's, most- it's mostly just like the things that are a problem are like faces from afar. I can't recognize someone, which That's is a fine. huge and problem. No, because I problem. remember putting on glasses. You also and can't see me- televisions or read like beer menus up. Like, yeah. It's bad. You should probably. But I remember like getting out. glasses and like looking in the mirror and you could see all of like, you can see. Everyone's face looks worse. When you have terrible eyesight, everyone looks more attractive. That is you true. You can't see any of their are little faces. Are, are you implying that like women that you meet out? This is no, no. But yeah, looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> every, it's across the board. It's myself. It's everyone. I think that's a move. If you want to feel less insecure, self-conscious and find other people hotter. Go blind. Go get toe the line. <laughs> it's like shallow how. A little bit, yeah. yeah a little bit. Shallow how. You're gonna end up with Paltrow. 
like shallow how yeah yeah mm. no kb <laughs> you could still feel weight <laughs> yeah yeah but not until the deed's already happening yeah yeah you're right and at that point once you're in it's a sin Yes. So yes, it's over. It's a wrap. It's curtains. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You might literally as well have your fun. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well go balls to the wall and have it. But you might as well have a blast. You're right. It's right. already happened. You might as well have the funnest time of your life. You're fucking right. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Um, how long have we been doing? We we, we have, we're a short podcast. Forty. Oh really? That's like the longest episode we've ever done. This Seriously. Is, this is a director's cut. So I would like to say the moment I got put on you guys. Or I was like, who in the fuck are these dudes? What's the bit you did? Pro- like, I'm sure that thing went viral. What you did with Eric and Ardini. Oh, we called her a cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> was Shut your the initial. Fuck up, bitch, you stupid cunt. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I know, like, it, it was, I guess, <laughs> did ironic, I, did but I can't up? believe we did that. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that's that was hilarious. We didn't tell like, her we were going to do that. You know they got a podcast called Anus, right? On my like, Anus. That's fu- that's that's all time. Yeah. From so, that moment well, forward. Actually, we horrible decision on our part our podcast started out as a fake podcast we just put out clips of a show that was never a thing like in a podcast studio like we were a podcast and we would just yeah. put out clips of like episode this and then and you would, and you that's would, how we got to episode you would 212 advertise like dumb things were they even real no 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 we would have fake sponsors do all kinds of yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah and we would just we were a fake podcast and our goal was we found a website of like where Barstool's patent lawyer, where Barstool patents everything. It was like during the call her daddy stuff where like, yeah. oh, like Barstool just re up the patent on the name call her daddy. So we we're like, how funny would it be if Barstool had to pay like a lawyer 20 grand to patent the word anus? So we kept on refreshing the page. Boom. Anus was <laughs> patented. It's, yeah. it's, it's trademarked, I mean, by Barstool. Yeah. No. Yeah. Shit. And so we we're like, fuck, now we have to, <laughs> you know. We sell zero merch. No <laughs> merch. Yeah. We have never been close to a bonus. Once we put out this do shirt. You, do you sell merch? We have it. But we're we, just oh, saying yeah, you no. don't push. You don't no. push. You yeah. don't like. So you know how like there's on. that. You know there's like a St. Patrick's Day push. Yeah. And like you have to put out green stuff. Mm-hmm. And like themed <laughs> like. <laughs> instead of kiss me, I'm Irish. So uh, Anus stands for a new untold story. Yep. And so. Our, our St. Patrick's Day merch. Wow. Yeah. You had to think. A little yeah. cerebral, huh? Yeah. A little. <laughs> um. Our merch was for St. Patrick's Day. Instead of Kiss Me, I'm Irish, it said, Untell Me, I'm Story. <laughs> the worst shirt of all time. And it was green. And we got an email. They were like, hey, can you push this? Oh, sorry. Am I veiled by his leg? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Anyway, we sold. We ended up selling been two total shirts. KB has been smaller than ever. Uh, this is, this is our Airbnb yeah. yesterday had a crib in it. We were like, KB, go in the crib. It'll be hilarious. We didn't, we were, we were drunk, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we the photo that went out says, this is who Big Cat refers to as his son. Yeah, how out. small did he look in that crib? Oh, that is amazing. It is insane. I was, it's not funny. Babies, it's, it's babies normal. fill out cribs. Why was there you, so much space? It, it was camera trickery. No, who wasn't, dude? I stayed up all night just looking at that picture, trying to find like, and I, what was going I on. I held up the did blanket. Did you sleep in that bed? Crib? No, no I got it was, it was, it was too uncomfortable. Too it was too big. <laughs> this had to have been the yeah. This was the biggest crib it, ever it was made. Like Goldilocks. That, that bed was like broke too a big. record. It was like the, the world's largest chair, rocking chair in Casey, Illinois. I think this was the world's largest crib in some town, and then <laughs> they took it in. It was a regular. There was no way that was a regulation Dude, crib. And then he he was so like snug under that blanket. His feet were tucked. You know, how you do the foot thing where you tuck the blanket under your feet. Yeah. He was like, that was a big quilt. I picked it up. It looked like I just was had a loincloth on, dude. Was, I'm like a contortionist. I'm no, you're a small guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're a small that, guy. That is the no, smallest. I'm, I'm more of a contortionist than I am small. You look small in a crib. How tall are you? Five six. Five seven. Five seven. AKB. Five seven. No, I'm not one of those guys. I tell the truth because you're gonna see it and know what it is. You can't tell the difference between six and seven. Yeah, you, you can. might as well say eight. And what do you mean by you're gonna see it? It's like <laughs> I should how, start saying eight. Yes. You think that will work? Yes. yes. Okay. Because here's what has to happen. Somebody has got to get a tape measure and be like, all right, measure yourself. KB uh, bought lifts. No one ever does He was that. walked in one day, so I went and bought lifts too. He's not yeah, catching up. That's son of a, that's <laughs> it was the day after I got my lifts. I came in strutting, looking leggy as all hell. <laughs> what were you going to say? You said time out. Uh, how's my breathing? Because last episode, I got a 
destroyed. Yeah, for breathing. You couldn't hear a word we said last and episode because it was spiraled just... me into like a constant state of like health anxiety. That but the video was still did well because people were had it for Darth Vader ASMR to fall asleep <laughs> to, dude. Now I'm hyper fixated on my own breathing, and that's the only thing I can think of. And I every time I you think about it consciously, you think you're doing it wrong or poorly. So now <laughs> I think I have like some type of pulmonary issue. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Do Thanks you guys, for all the DMs. <laughs> so you do you, you read uh you see this stuff in DMs. Do you guys read your guys' comments on your show and stuff like that? We uh we read our subreddit, the anus subreddit, and yuck it up oh. with those boys. The subreddit. That's yeah. I'm very good at oh, we have our own like anus subreddit. I'm, I'm avoid I'm good at avoiding something of like a comment section that I know might be negative. So if I think it might be negative, I won't look. Yeah. But, but you like, already be will, you, will it already put you in a bad mood? Just think. I've already assumed the worst, so we not look. You know when you put out like something that's not your best. Yeah, I don't even like. Usually, if it's a video, we just won't put it out. But with a podcast, with ads, and like you know the schedule, you have to. Yeah. So that's just I avoid I avoid the internet the week where I feel like one's not good enough. Yeah, I get that for sure. But yeah, you respond to DMs though. You pick fights. I I get in moods. Remember, we were in Putin Bay, and you were like, one of my meanest trolls is here, and I'm going to go fight him. What was his name? Mean Peter. <laughs> his name's Did mean you find Peter? him? He wasn't there. Just his boys. His boys were awesome. Mean Peter's boys were awesome. Yeah. Were you gonna fight him? No, no. Well, for a second, were you thinking about like? No, he. I'm kind of joking, but if it goes Peter's that way, like I'll, I'll for a long him. time. Like so, he's he will DM me an insult like once every two months. For, he's like, been doing it for five like five years. Yeah. So I respect it. That's his thing. He's mean Peter. He's mean to me. That's fine. It's classic Peter. But it's amazing, like how angry people get at me over just like breathing on my podcast they're like calling me an asshole a douchebag kill yourself like if you're listening to me you like you did you like me up until that point <laughs> yeah. and then i started breathing wrong and then you're like fuck this guy right. That's all it takes. i think i lost a lot of listeners the episode breathe. before that our guest my buddy uh maresh bought brought us in a slim jims and i ate one of the slim jims they're like you're fucking chewing the whole time made me fucking puke and i was like dude it is weird how extreme some of these comments get off the, the smallest thing. And that's like a minority of it. So yeah, it's not crazy. I'm glad we never there did that. People we've that never are done that. that. Get much worse. Oh yeah. yeah. Why? What, what did your voice? You sound like a movie trailer. Say, yeah. Like, yeah, other people are hate it more than us. Yeah. Hell yeah. But uh, well, I was gonna say I'm glad we never did like the Reddit thing. Like I've never been on Reddit. Yeah, that's, that's good. Smart. That's because I hear Reddit's pretty dangerous. Yeah, Actually, it's a good way to like catch up on <clears throat> things going on. Yeah, if you're out of the office for a little bit, we do. they know more than we do. Definitely about, about stuff in the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I don't know how they yeah. do that, but they are angry people. Yeah, because people they, create like burners, right? They treat bar stores the rumor. Right? Nah, the rumor. They treat bar yeah, sports like it's a curriculum that they have to follow and consume everyone. Yeah, it's like so they'll get like so angry about like a like a video or a podcast that they don't like. They don't have to listen, though. I don't get it. The Barcelona fan base thinks they have to consume everything. So that's it's a minority, I think. Definitely. I but do think it's a minority. There are, if there, there is a crop, You're a catch large hell crop. For the Boston in. cream. Dude. You think so? No, nah, I don't know. No, nah, they, no. They I will say here. that's not enough cream. Five Daughters Bakery, that is not enough cream for the inside of a Boston cream. And that's just a Boston pie. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's not that much that's, cream. That's, you got to fill that up. Like a, you got to fill that up. Cream pie. KB and I, our most heated debate, almost came to blows. Uh, KB, we did this draft with the Chicago guys of best feelings, and he wanted to draft cream pie, and I talked him out of it. Because I don't think it's worth the fear. You I wanted hate, to have I a hate child. talking about cream pies. Um, it's just uncomfortable. But I, I would consider it the top human sensation. For like feelings of like well, your they, body, you're talking about like orgasm. Say, everyone says the orgasm is the best feeling, right? Yeah, it's a good feeling. So the best type of orgasm is the cream pie. No <laughs> way, dude! Because you're instantly hit. I'm not starting this up again. You you keep talking about what happens afterwards. That negates that. No, it's an entirely yeah, you did, different. You did sensation. throw in. We're you talking want, about you threw in. You wanted to have a kid. Then not how the sensation of a cream pie lasts fucking ten seconds. Doesn't matter how long it. Sensations can be a millisecond. Right, but I'd rather take seconds. a longer sensation than a, a fleeting one. This, what's a, what's, your, what's a longer sensation? I like double Q-tipping after a shower. Q-tipping is a, a great sensation. That is a fun that's, sensation. That's the one time I get like... And guess what? Why a girl would you'd enjoy rather, that. You'd rather Q-tip than orgasm though? You're talking to... The, yes, yes. And people will... Be, yes. People will what? I, I'm, oh, damn near, I'm damn near asexual. It's vaguely... It's, it's, if, if Can you reproduce on your own? your pussy was like Q-tipping, I would like not be a complete bore. What do you mean? Like I would like you, probably you, moan you, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have to 
fake my moans because it feels damn good. Do you Q-tip better than you fuck? I'm getting very good at it. <laughs> I mean, I know all the. I know, like you yeah, know the, I mean, I, the what? Yeah, I mean, your so, ear is like a labyrinth too. All those crannies. Uh huh. You gotta learn a little bit in those ears. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How how often do you Q-tip? I Q-tip like every every every, every time I shower. I don't. And do then it for probably twice a day, but I always double. Pleasure. What do you mean double? What dual wield akimbo? You dual wheel double bad. Q-tip every day. Twice a day. Yeah. Every oh. time I like walk past my bathroom, it's calling my name. It is. We'll give him that. See, I feel like that sensation probably wears off after time because there's times That's where thing, no. you do clean it out and it's been a little bit. It feels extremely it's good. Not the, it's not the top. It's top 50, maybe. No. It, it, it's, Physical sensation? Yeah. Yeah. yeah top 50. Yeah. The cream, 50, the, the, the I mean, cream that's pie. A lot of, the, that's a lot of feeling. Cream pie, the, com, the coming in the vagina is number one. No, because sometimes you get that, the, the willies down your spot. Is, what, I like how he tries to whisper it. Like, he oh, tries to whisper it because he thinks it sounds more sophisticated. Well, the cream pie. Like, well, at least but, way in. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's got a good point, though. Like, it's it's the entire vibe of it, too. Like, you feel like you're, you're you know, you're dominating. Right, but I can I can double Q-tip whenever I Don't want. You? Oh, when I'm coming in a pussy, <laughs> or when I did... I don't feel like dominant. I feel Wait, disgusted. Did you, did you give it up for like Lent or something? Oh, yeah. I thought we were talking I about. I thought we size. I thought we're talking about though. Like, if you feel disgusting, you just said it's the best feeling. You said you feel dominant, cream pie in. Yeah, like yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's it's pie or be pie. Doggy dog. All right, exactly. I gotta, I gotta, you're not doing it. It's going to happen wow. to you, dude. Why do I feel like I'm being dominant? Or I'm being dominated when are I you do, cream pie. When I cream pie, yeah. You feel like, you're... like the it, it's, 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 there's more happening to me than happening to them. I don't know what. Like I'm like I'm a victim. I'm a helpless victim of their the pussy. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. Because you know, yeah. as a single guy, the fear that comes post cream pie, mm-hmm. PCP. Absolutely. Like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I can could, I could understand that part. But I'm just talking, we're just talking feelings. Right. Like, but if what, he's, what, we're what, talking what? about the right environment, like everything's set up. What, what are you talking about? What do you, what do you, what do you, what well, do you mean? There's not, there's, uh, yeah, but if she, yeah, that, say that's not an issue. What, what else? In right, like, political landscape? <sighs> that's a post not rarity for me. Today's political landscape. <sighs> Yeah, but it's like you can you can time stuff up like everything's scheduled out if you're like right before the period or right well, after. You think we're having enough regular sex to where we could time it up. Time it no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> My wife and I would get dangerous before uh she starts and after she gets done. Oh Every time a month. Is that like uh there's, there's no the chances are like zero. No, no kidding. That's what I'm saying. You look it up, you gotta ovulate to get pregnant. Right. <laughs> Quit doing that. We're, I don't want to. I don't want to look disgusting when we talk about this. So I'm doing. Okay, yeah. Sure. Let's, no, let's, is, all, let's all do this and talk about cream pie. Yeah. I'm against it because I there, get that you're against it. But the one thing that was holding it back, not politically. But hear me out. How does that? I think cure it from being a top sensation. I think. Because, I even think it's a disgusting sight. I don't like ever seeing anything ooze. Yeah, but oh, yeah. it's not like you have to sit there and watch. What? Yeah, you, you don't, don't have to watch it. Watch it that, that's a slow process. Yeah. But it's even knowing that it's oozing, even if it's there, the thought if of there's it. a monster in your closet, you're not going to ignore it. But that's, okay. again, that's not a monster. Like, we're not, you don't have to sit there and watch it ooze. You, you apologize and say, I wish I could have lasted a little bit longer. Dude, who's but watching it really ooze? Good. It, oh, it comes out quick. I don't remember. It's a quick ooze. <laughs> Is it yeah, a but, quick ooze? I mean, oozes are inherently not that quick. No, right? no. What quick. about no? There's there's, there's, there's there's quick oozes. If, quick oozes. If they're on top and they once they get off, if you're like looking down at it, oh, from that angle, that's it. <laughs> I'm just saying it's the risk isn't worth the reward. But listen, it we're talking about we're talking about the feeling. Say, arguably, it doesn't negate the feeling of the sensation. <laughs> you're talking about post nut clarity right yes, there. That's a yes, feeling in itself. That's, yeah, that's, that's a separate maybe the feeling. Worst feeling. Yes. but this is the best feeling. All right, yes, I feel like I'm yes. being ganged up on, and I don't like it. I think all I'm saying is it's a cream pie is comparable to pulling out and busting on a back. Like more no, medical. brother. Is there a medical is term? Is there a medical for term for a I cream pie? I'm saying cream pie. Um, cream pie. Have you ever done it? Come on now, Will. <laughs> Come of on, course. dude, Nikki. Seeding. Seeding. 
<laughs> okay. That's gross. That's gross. Gross. <laughs> sure, yeah. Ew, what a gross word. Also, <laughs> that's, the, that's, like the, that's like a dominant thought. There's an actual gross. Wikipedia article. On seeding? On <laughs> cream pieing. And, okay. Yeah, you guys. Did it win any like awards? That? What did it win? What's Come on, it? buddy. Go to achievements and critical acclaim. <laughs> Go to achievements. Yeah. Go to his personal life. Controversial. Controversial. Oh, no. <laughs> the controversy tab of cream pie. Health risks. HIV. That's all. That, see, you're, you're a worrier, yeah. aren't you? Yo, yeah. Oh, big time. Because all we're talking about is feelings. Like everything you're talking about has is just the anxiety that comes with something else associated with it. Yes. I don't know. You're, you're, you're from the standpoint of choices have consequences. Uh, I guess we could call that well, responsibility. We're, yeah, we're, your, we're in your Wait, I'm from the, Do you think it's an opinion, the thought of choices have consequences? <laughs> is that an opinion? Oh, no, no, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying that's the box you live in when thinking about these feelings. You are, you're a no. warrior. Like literally, yeah. we're still trying to talk about it and you you Googled it and then found even more. Oh, you could get HIV. I'm, a, I'm the biggest warrior. We're, we have to fly tomorrow and I'm not going to sleep tonight. I get to the airport at least seven hours early. It's insane. Yeah. He's always. You don't have to. No. I, no, he's, he's. Yeah. As we're boarding, as we're in line, he'll come up and stroll up. It's. I'm, I get more anxious like to walk because there's a better chance to get killed walking or driving or riding. So you run everywhere. So you're a warrior as well? No, just like in general, that's like the safest mode of transportation is flying. Yeah. E probably statistically, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, but there's not, there's, if there were as many planes as there were cars. One mode of transportation that's uh, safer than a plane. Wheelchair. No. No, they die all the time. <laughs> oh, because of other reasons. Yeah, okay. The bound people are not risk takers. Oh, no. So you're all about being in control. Yes. It's outside of your control. You, your anxiety's through the roof. Hence, no cream pieing. No cream pieing. No cream pieing. No flying. Yeah. No, no flying. And I hate, I hate everything about flying. Getting off the plane in Chattanooga, there was this woman who was at least two hundred and fifteen years old in front of I me. Saw her. She tried to cut through me. I, I pushed her away. She was, she was so old. You know, when you hit that age of like supreme old age, that you're racially ambiguous. You couldn't tell what she yeah, was. They always look like Mother Teresa, like vaguely Indian, but also white. She was vaguely Indian. Yeah. Yeah. She looked, but she looked like an unwrapped mummy. Yeah. Uh, but I helped her open like her overhead. And she was so old that like her jaw didn't close anymore. She just had to keep the thing open. You just gravity. <laughs> just, just, you know how that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she was, you know, she should not have been alive, let alone flying. Did um, you help her with her luggage? I was like, which one's yours? There were two up there. One was a very floral like pink, lime green, magenta, violet uh, su suitcase. And one was just jet black. And she just couldn't tell which one was hers. And so until, she, I was like, until she felt she that. had to feel them. And I, was, I was looking and she was blonde. She wasn't. I'm like, yeah. they, I, I'd imagine they, they looked much different than they felt. And she was holding up the they whole the fucking same, plane. They were the same brand. And the whole plane, thank shout out Caitlin Walker who gets our tickets. The whole plane being me and her because we were the last row. Yeah. Um, just waiting right there and just. The whole plane being me and her. And mm. it was it was the most infuriated I've ever yeah, been. Yeah, I would have. But then you just like breezed past her. You, you're an asshole though, to the elderly. I'm deep planning. I'm at my meanest. Yeah. He rolled his eyes at this ancient woman. Don't fly. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Where are you going? Go You're going to be an angry old man. Yes. He's, yeah. He has the shortest fuse in the entire fucking say, world. I was you get in moods, bro. I, it's moods, yeah. He stomps around the city. Yeah. It's I'm going to cut weight his whole life. Oh, yeah. I bet it is. That's what it's from. Mm. No, it's from drug. Kratom. No, no, no. You don't want to... I don't do Kratom anymore. I barely do drugs. And little man syndrome. May, maybe. Maybe subconsciously. You get told that to you a lot? No, no, because I'm not like the type that wants to fight you physically, because I think that's more little man syndrome. I, I might have it, yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to fight lately. Have you? I'm 20, I'm 30 years old, and I'm I like, want you, the, I want you to fight Mean fighting. Peter. Mean Peter. No. I want him to fight Mean Peter, too. I was like, yeah, dude, let's go meet him. Yeah. I'd be useless. Was your... I never got to the bottom of this. Was your top 10 rapper list... Whoa, <laughs> that was fake. <laughs> yes. Was it? Yes. But, yes. But it was, it blew every, uh, like, 
no, everyone took it seriously and everyone Dude. destroyed you. I know. That was, so that that was, was the most that fun was, day. Like, bro. That was the best thing so I've ever... I, that was my... Like, that was when I used to do shit like that. That was my, my dream scenario. Dude, it's yeah. the best, man. Because then it gets so far out there. Like, so many new people see it that I ended up seeing, like, white nationalism at work right here. Oh, it was all, like, this love it. Racist. Like, it gets way too big to where now it's you becoming, like, a political thing. for being racist. Yeah. Which is awesome because you want it was ironic. So you, which is awesome, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah, but you weren't. Yeah, and the best part was Machine Gun like Kelly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The best part was how machi- do you see that and think like, yeah, this yeah, is- I know, right? Uh, but Machine NF Gun Kelly, Machine Gun Kelly was on it above J Cole, and there was this person who blasted me, and that one was their thing was going viral for blasting me, and Machine Gun Kelly like comments under her thing. Listen to this out. Al- listen to this yeah. album with the shrugs. Which gassed it even more, dude. Oh my! And then so everyone he got his eyes on it. Yeah, that's amazing. Then just, everyone else saw it and just assumed he was a, a racist idiot. Yeah, and then it gets to the point where people who like, people are like, oh, just see who he works with. Like it uh, all yeah. makes sense. Oh, uh, like, okay. okay, yeah, they just dive deeper. Right, right. That that you struck gold with that. Yeah, that was a good. It was a good move. It's fun though. Do you have like the itch to do that again? Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love doing shit like that. What's next? Because it's not it's not that serious. No, it's not at all. Like trolling the internet is the most is the most fun. My fucking dad's my sixty three year old dad is addicted to it. Yeah, on he's, Twitter he's been he's been trolling the dozen. He's he's, he's yeah he's better watch it. Du- he goes by Doug Winoy, his yeah. dad, and he just trolls. He's made like articles and stuff. He's he's. Because he does he get emotionally invested? Like he's actually somebody who writes like with with emotion, or is he trolling? He trolls trolling. in the replies to like popular tweets, like Biden's tweets or anything. Yeah, he said he's he he said he stopped talking to his son because his son <laughs> son's Republican. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't talked to his grandson in five years. Yeah, yeah. So he's funny. He's he's, he's yeah. He's getting better at he's it. Getting good. Definitely give him a follow. No, I'd love to. Like, no, I would love oh, yeah. to. You, I noticed your, somebody was bullying me online. Um. Uh, somebody it was a response to when you said made the wawa over sheets joke towards me um uh, yeah, yeah wawa under sheets yeah and he said like kb said wawa under sheets that's the sound nick makes when he's sucking a dude's dick in bed like wah, wah, under under sheets yeah and then this dude was like i always knew nick was like uh, the gayest or something it was like something mean to me and then one like your dad <laughs> yeah, he hates you. <laughs> yeah, no, he, doesn't hate you. He, he does think you're gay. Dude, good move. He, just, he just needs it. He needs like affirmation. Yeah. Dude, a good move that you could uh, that you could do because you get you'll get fired up about whether it's DMs or comments or whatever that you specifically look at. You take him for a walk. Oh, that those are incredible. Wait, Bro, what? Those are so, his walk those, videos. Let's take a walk. Yeah, let's oh, take yeah, a walk. So good because you get to show that you're like this is funny. Yeah, mm-hmm. you get to show like you're taking this way too serious, and like mm-hmm. let me take you for a walk real quick. I get amped up whenever. Like, let me, yeah, let me take you to shut walk. the fuck up real quick. Yeah, yeah. and, and then you're you're you know you get this like freedom of like yeah I'm fucking cussing on the internet like I don't give a shit. And it just doubles up your content like the first I, yeah, thing that I don't it did. And then, agree with the mindset that you should ignore the hate all the time. I yeah I'm with that. W- you, that doesn't make you. They they think that makes you like a better person. Don't stoop to their level. I mean I think if. Even if they're a burner account, that's still another adult man. That's my least favorite that's thing. It's like, oh, it's a faceless this person anime picture. Is talking shit on me. It's a person. I'm going to respond and have a conversation. Right. I agree with you. But to me, it's where like these are conversations that could be, we could, we could play the circle game with these conversations. Yeah. yeah. This would be great when you, we do this again. Yeah. Let's when save we, it. So we, everybody, okay, we can save it. So everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody, everybody listen. To talk about. I think we're done. I think we're done. This is like a a, a post show, a post yak show. Did okay. you say people 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 have been clamoring for that? They didn't they hate do. it. They didn't hate when everybody oh, yeah, left because we were it. just yeah. talking the whole time. Uh, I was they fired up. It. Yeah, yeah. You have to come back or move to Chicago. You never know. Oh, that'd yeah, be nice. Are you guys you guys going to Chicago? You're going to Chicago. I think so. It looks like it. it. Looks we'll like see. it. We'll yeah. see. I mean, does a lot can does change. Does that excite you? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean... You've been a Northeast guy. Well, yeah, Have I you mean, been a Northeast East guy your whole life? Uh, West Virginia, it's borderline. Okay. Yeah. Um, but... You guys are like the South. Yeah, I think it'll create like a... We're the South. No, no, we are not. We are in like the like the only undefined area regionally. Yeah, there's no identity like or part culture. Appalachia, gotcha. part Midwest, part Rust Belt, part Mid-Atlantic. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. Fuck. Fuck, man. Fuck. No, I don't know. I mean, 
Fuck. Nothing is like finalized yet. I don't even think there's an office. Yeah. Like if there would be, you know, a new one. So there's not an office finalized yet. There has I don't, to I, be. They, dude. I mean, why? Why, why would I ever know. know? We don't know. True. Yeah. It's like because when is the move going to happen? Like when's Big Cat going again? We don't. We I mean, don't know. You guys might we'll know, pro- but we'll, I get it. We no, no, no. We'll probably find well, out I mean, on Reddit. We said ballpark within the next yearish. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. If you're if you're within the next yearish, like they, I'm sure they have their eyes on something. Yeah, but we don't know. Yeah, yeah. we would tell you. I would, and we, yeah, we. It wouldn't matter. I would say it, but no, not hiding anything from you. Well, that's cool. I, is there is there going to be like a divide? Do you think? I think, I think it'll I think naturally people will make a rift that changes up everything, like the landscape of bar. So I don't know if it'll be like controversial or dramatic, but yeah, I think it'll it be will like internally controversial. It will be, yeah, because you got people who live in New York that you know, Let's see, either don't want to move, I have to make something work. Yeah, it's a, it's a big it'll, decision. We're lucky yeah, that we're not tied down by anything. Just single boys, yeah. Yep. Well, I love Maybe it. as a kid. All right, that was the episode. Thanks, <laughs> 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 well. love it. I appreciate that. That was, that was awesome. Man, I appreciate just, it. Hey, just sitting there. Just going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that was fun, man. Thank Dude, you. that was a blast, yeah, bro. God, that was fun. Sorry for the roast. <laughs> that was hilarious. You mean you're that's saying, your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? <laughs> It's a new untold story.